we are given f of x equals six times inverse tangent of eight sine three x, and we're asked to determine f prime of x. Well, first notice how we do have a composite function where the outer function is the inverse tangent function, and the inner function is eight sine three x. And we often let u equal the inner function. So if u is equal to eight sine three x, when applying the chain rule, we'll have to determine u prime, which is du dx, and notice how u itself is a composite function, where the inner function, which we'll call v, is three x. And the derivative of eight sine v with respect to x is equal to eight cosine v times v prime, which indicates that u prime is equal to eight cosine of three x times the derivative of three x with respect to x, which is three, and therefore u prime is equal to 24 cosine of three x. And now going back to the original function, since we let u equal eight sine three x, we can think of f of x as just six inverse tangent of u. And now if we take a look at the derivative formula for inverse tangent u with respect to x, the derivative is one divided by the quantity one plus u squared times u prime. And therefore the derivative of six times inverse tangent u is equal to six times one divided by the quantity one plus u squared, which is one plus the square of eight sine three x. And then times u prime, where u prime is 24 times the cosine of three x. And now let's go ahead and simplify. We have f prime of x equals, in the numerator we have six times 24 cosine three x, which is 144 cosine three x. This is divided by the quantity one plus the square of eight sine three x, which we'll write as 64 sine squared three x. I hope you found this helpful.